Okay, so if you download the new version 98, you'll see that there's this new mermaid template. <laughs> so if we click in that, you'll see that a bunch of stuff going on in the patch editor, and it's basically just uh, it's giving you these four options that you can change for the color of the hair. You can change, you know, the smoothness of how they blur into each other, and the offsets and the opacities and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you go into the material, you can do all the normal material stuff. You can change the blend mode, change the opacity, all that. Um, but I'm going to be starting a new project and showing you how to add the segmentation from scratch. So open up a blank project. And my dude doesn't have a lot of hair, so let's switch to this chick. And we're going to go into camera, segmentation, hit the hair segmentation. And it doesn't work on Facebook, but like who the fuck is making Facebook filters anyway. So just click remove Facebook. And then if you click on the hair segmentation, you'll see it has all the normal segmentation settings. So then we're just going to add a rectangle. And you'll also see that there's some new settings, rectangle settings here. So it's got like relative to the screen and fixed and stuff. And then we're going to add a material to that. And we're going to call this hair, and we're going to change it to flat so that it's not affected by the lights. And then if we tick alpha, we can just add the hair segmentation, and you can see you can invert it. And so then I'm just going to make a patch for the texture, a patch node for the texture, and I'm going to create a colors adjust. I'm just going to make the hair kind of like cycle through a bunch of different colors. So... For the texture, I'm just going to get a value node and change the type to a color. Connect that up and I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to bring it to the brightest and near the edge so that it's very saturated. So then I'll just connect that up. Uh, I'm going to change the blend mode to add because then you can see the details of the hair sort of through it a bit better. And now I'm just going to add a loop animation to cycle through the hue and then you'll see that it's giving you this crazy wacky rainbow shit now to make it stand out a bit more let's let's change sort of the rest of the camera so i'm going to add another rectangle and fill the screen with it and you'll see that it's hiding the hair so i'm just going to drag that one above the hair and let's just name these so it's a bit easier to know what's going on. So I'll name this one hair and background. So add a new material to the background and call that background material as well. Change it to flat. Add the texture into the patch editor. And then we're going to go to camera, get a texture extraction of the camera texture. Drag that in. Just connect it up so we can see something. Okay, then I'm going to add the adjust color shader, run the texture, the camera texture through that, and then I'm just going to desaturate it, add some contrast, and then I'm going to invert the colors. So now you've got this like dark nightclub rave. You're like a human glow stick. Great. And then, yeah. Um, so that's kind of the basics of the hair segmentation. You can do some other stuff, like you can add two mask sizes, one small and one big, and have sort of two colors that way. Um, but yeah, get creative. Um, I can't really think of anything that great that you could do with hair segmentation, to be honest. But I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. So go make something cool. Yeah.